Brown's definitely upgraded the line. You, you, you look at uh, Zadarius Smith, Tomlinson, Harris, Okunronkwo to go with Miles Garrett. Um, let's take a look at this. This is uh, comparisons from the last year where they were playing. Uh, Brown's front four uh, last year, 146 pressures, 82 run stops, 23 sacks, 29 tackles for loss. This year's front four with their 2022 stats, uh, 208 pressures, 115 run stops, 30.5 sacks, and 41 tackles for loss. An uptick, and you could make the argument, because you're plugging them in next to better people and with better people, you expect it to kind of get multiplied even more. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Friday night, Miles Garrett wasn't even out there, and Okoronkwo and Maurice Hurst and uh, Zadarius Smith were just generating pressure. I saw a stat, it was 16 pressures on 35 dropbacks, and that was just the preseason against Sam Howell, who's you know getting his first reps as a starting quarterback, and he's doing it against Jacoby Brissett as well. But, yeah, they completely overhauled this defense. I think Jim Schwartz came in and told Andrew Barry and company, like, we need to overhaul this thing. He goes, you got Miles Garrett. Let's get a great supporting cast around him. And they did just that, adding Zadarius Smith in a trade, adding Dalvin Tomlinson and Okoronkwo and Maurice Hurst in free agency, adding Siaki Ika and Isaiah McGuire in the draft. Like, this is the deepest defensive line Miles Garrett's gotten to play with in his career. And, you know, it's going to benefit him, but I think it's going to benefit everybody in that room. And uh, with Jim Schwartz as their leader, Um, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, you've seen the stats that Mac posted. Those look great, and it looks great on paper, but they have to go out and do it. But I have no doubt in my mind that they'll get the job done. The defensive line group is as talented as it's been, like like I said, and I expect them to dominate uh, the line of scrimmage week in and week out this coming season. Yeah, I kind of got the this is what I've been waiting to see uh, with the commanders in the early part of that first quarter. The first couple of series yeah. where, and again, that was without Miles Garrett playing. So I, I think you're going to see a style. The other thing that you mentioned, those guys, finally the young defensive linemen that they're trying to develop have veterans that can say, this is kind of what you need to do to refine that. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that Alex Wright and Isaiah Thomas are missing time because they were going to benefit from learning behind Miles and Zadarius Smith and Dalvin Tomlinson and all those guys that they've brought in. But, yeah, the young guys like Isaiah McGuire, he's going to get a chance to learn a little bit. Maybe they'll sprinkle him in in games. Siaki Ika, like, he doesn't have to worry as much about, like, I mean, he's still going to go out there and work hard and do his job, but he's got Shelby Harris and Dalvin Tomlinson and Maurice Hurst, who's been around for a few years, and and even Tristan Hill, if he makes the roster, because he's been around for a little bit. Like, there's so much depth on that defensive front. Like, this is a good chance for these young guys to learn, but also get a chance to make some sort of an impact this coming season.